mofo logic here video number three this one is connected to my second video on pockets of gravity the video that was regarding richard garrett's magic trick in in the iss and uh, the videos from uh, the channels called paul on the plane seventh day truth seeker infinite plane society what those videos are now insinuating on this different clip that's been taken from a much longer uh, clip that's available of a complete tour by Andre of the ISS showing all the different uh, parts of it and ironically floating all over the place and somersaulting you know freely within the ISS anyhow so th th there's a particular part they've cherry picked from here and, and heavily edited down uh, to portray an agenda and uh, let's watch a uh, seventh day truth seekers video to see what we're talking about het is hetzelfde als de letters bij de Russen maar interessante systemen hier achter deze panelen uh, wordt uh, de urine opgevangen en uh... so as you can see it's a very short clip and it's it's been it's been back to back to to maximize uh, to, to what they're trying to say they're, they're suggesting that he's undone this screw and the screw has fallen Salt out and Salt because it's zero gravity obviously it shouldn't instantly fall and make a noise uh, and uh, they're, they're trying to represent this in such a way that it's uh, as I say kind of related to Richard Garriott's with the pockets of gravity which as I established in the previous video was a magic trick and Richard actually confirmed that himself so let's look at Paul on the planes video which he entitles oops another gravity pocket on the ISS NASA fail fake in space etc the usual kind of title to expect uh, I've placed the original footage alongside his to show the edit point that he deliberately chooses uh, he had he shown the full video in context it would have not even lasted five minutes even with flat earthers watching it they would would have disregarded it uh, so he reaches in he uh, turns that screw he looks down because he's he's focusing on moving forward to then focus on doing undoing and unscrewing the two bottom screws of that panel he then reaches up and then does the left hand screw of that panel he then realizes that actually he hasn't unscrewed the right hand one correctly and it's still um, not allowing the panel to come away so he goes back up to uh, just release it properly so that the panel can come up apart so let's close it I've put a circle around it there's this the unscrewing he's obviously got to a conclusion that he's unscrewed it he, he goes to look down to then move forward to then focus on the, the bottom right and the bottom left screws which he unscrews he then does the top left screw realizes the top right screw hasn't fully released so he goes back to that retaining screw which incidentally is still there he he turns it to get to get the panel to a point where he knows he can now uh, freely remove it as he removes it watch where the circle goes and the arrow you can see the screw is still in place it's floating it's on the panel there uh, so the claim that the screw fell off to the floor and the sound made actually means anything so on this part here now I've I've put a circle around uh, an unrelated screw but you can see it floating around uh, as it should do in in near zero gravity and it gives you a good idea of what the actual screw retainers look like as well which is a lot clearer in my video here's a different picture of the same panel which again gives us a slightly better view uh, quite a nice view of what the panels and the screws look like if you look at the top left uh, there's obviously at some point one of the screws has gone missing somehow must have broken um, it's actually missing in 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 all the videos that, and, and the footage that I've looked at uh, here's an, a, another alternative another astronaut having another look in there and the same panel viewable with the same clips viewable so 
We go back to Andre's video. Here he is with the panel open, as we saw before. And as he closes, we can still clearly see the screw never fell out. It is floating around. It is fully attached to the panel. So, I mean, that's pretty conclusive that the claim of the video is fake. It's, it's manipulated. There's the other two screws on the panel. So all four screws of that panel was all intact on the panel. Uh, and there you go there it is again in the circle uh, so really I hope this just clears up such a fake claim the, the claim is heavily edited and I hope that this helps in future when flat earthers look at videos of this quality uh, to actually analyze alternative data as well to conclude whether you know what they're seeing in the original video is correct because this is clearly been uh, portrayed in a certain way to show a certain agenda and had the original videos from Paul on the plane seventh day truth seeker and infinite plane society actually shown this in in the context that I've shown it obviously no one would have even commented and agreed with their wild claim so what's happened here uh, relates to something else that I'm probably going to make a more in-depth video on in the future is the fact that our senses and our perceptions can be heavily flawed and all our senses work together flat earth likes to talk about senses and we use it we should use our senses and it's uh, supposedly some groundbreaking idea but what's happening is our senses are flawed they can actually make mistakes they make assumptions our senses all work together so this video i'm going to leave it running and let the audio speak for itself in the illusion um what we see overrides what we hear so um, the mouth movements we see as we look at a face can actually influence what we believe we're hearing. If we close our eyes, we actually hear the sound as it is. If we open our eyes, we actually see how the mouth movements can influence what we're hearing. Ba, ba, ba. It's a bizarre ba, effect. Ba, Remember, the ba, only sound you're hearing is ba, ba with a B. Ba, 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 ba. What's remarkable about this illusion is even knowing how it's done doesn't seem to make a difference. The effect works no matter how much you know about the effect. I've been studying the McGurk effect for 25 years now, and I've been the face in the stimuli. I've seen stimuli thousands and thousands of times, but the effect still works on me. I can't help it. The speech brain just takes in that information and doesn't care about what outside knowledge you bring to bear. Ba, ba. The McGurk effect shows us that what we hear may not always be the truth. But it also helps us to understand what happens when our senses conflict. When the brain has the conflicting information, it tries to make sense of that conflict. And depending on what type of modality is providing more, I guess, salient information, that information might override or at least combine with the other information. So we can't always trust what we hear. So that point at the end is that we can't always trust the assumptions that our brain makes based on information we see and hear and a combination of that we can be tricked and the proof the proof in 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 the videos that are on youtube suggesting that this oops oh another fake gravity pocket with this supposed screw falling out and the noise to back it up is just made out of an assumption that has no actual uh, factual evidence to back it up and it's it, it's very telling to how I view most fat, flat earth videos that are supposedly conclusive 100% proof of something uh, I come in with a different angle and a more logical thought process and understanding and trying to work out 
you know maybe there are alternatives to that so if you look here you can see him clearly on other parts of that same video where the piece has been cherry picked from uh, demonstrating that he is in actual zero gravity look at these circled and arrowed pieces that I've put here just to show um, you know this this is the environment he's in is zero gravity he's floating around and it's it's an enormous enormous claim to suggest that this is fake and faked so I'm gonna let the, the video run out showing more footage of Andre sped up cruising round floating round the ISS hopefully uh, what I've shown in this video can clear up a very flawed piece of footage that's out there on YouTube reason I'm making these videos is to try and give an alternative view that actually comes from some kind of logical thought process that doesn't just lead to wild conclusions based on very little evidence very edited manipulated uh, storytelling so hopefully uh, that's it for this one I'm sure there will be more videos in the future